As you could probably tell by the title of this video, this is a video about the Quest Pro. I am somewhat of a lover, connoisseur, um, watcher, user, lover of VR. I've owned uh, at least three headsets, my last being the Valve Index. I stopped there and I'm waiting for the next one and this is gonna be why it will continue to be my daily driver and I will not be switching to any Quest Pro. There are probably a lot of you, if you're already familiar with this headset or looking at me and you're like, bro, this isn't even meant to replace your Quest 2. This isn't even meant to replace your index. All I'm saying is I got some passion coming and I'm gonna speak my mind. I think it's been almost three years since the release of the Valve Index. This is a completely different company. Facebook makes the Quest, Quest Pro, and Valve, um, HTC, um, Steam uh, makes the index so two completely different companies fine however we are kind of like i'm waiting I, I want a new one i'm ready it's been a while three years with my index i want some new tech i did spend twelve hundred dollars on that index a good quality upgraded headset would be worth fifteen hundred dollars to me all day long i would spend that on a headset i spent twelve hundred on my index the second i could the problem here is we're putting a $1,500 price tag on, I want to say like a trial tech. This is a technically like more mixed reality focused headset. It seems as though this is meant to combat the uh, Microsoft HoloLens type deal and maybe get us to dip our toe into mixed reality out of the professional space and that's where i envision vr going is it will be a mixed reality type deal when we can get mom and dad and grandpa and uncle to just have a pair of glasses it will be when boom everybody is on it there's a customer mixed reality is going to be a, an amazing thing however i don't think we're there yet and charging fifteen hundred dollars for the next step is not really what I'm excited for. If you guys don't know, Facebook bought Oculus, the whole studio, the whole company, the whole thing, many, many years ago. And then last year, they rebranded to Meta. Since then, their company stocks, everything plummeting, they're going to shit, but I think they're playing the long game, or at least trying. I don't know how this headset's gonna help that. The cool thing is, is they are introducing a few new good pieces of tech. Like, there is at least some advancement happening here, but like I'm saying, it's not worth the $1,500. And it's not going to get VR out to the people. So big ups on the eye tracking and the face tracking. These are two new features that are starting to show up in some models that are going to be pretty important. I should say there is no official metaverse at the moment everybody says oh are you part of the metaverse because i have a <coughs> vr headset i'm sorry if that got a little vulgar but the metaverse doesn't really exist there are certain games programs apps whatever that are starting to make their own little world that is run on cryptocurrency that you could consider a metaverse there is no metaverse there is no blanket term there is no game called meta there is no world called metaverse but when there is when there is face and eye tracking is gonna be a standard and incredibly important when somebody says a funny joke and you go and go <laughs> and they will see that they, you don't even have to make the noise you can just go and they'll know that you're smiling or I think I just whittled it down to its emotion. It's a really good way to be able to express emotion by using your face. That's a huge step in the right direction towards mixed reality, metaverse, V, VR that we're all kind of hoping and praying for. What I can see is improvements upon the Quest 2 that are introduced into the Quest Pro which annoys the f out of me. The Quest 2 was meant to be an a incredibly accessible headset. This thing was meant to be cheap and inside out tracking. Anybody can throw this on and hop in VR. 
like anything does when you first make it and then you push it to millions and you're like, okay, we're starting to figure out what we can do better. Great. Oh, look, we can do all these things better. Like pancake displays. The pancake display is a great idea. The pancake idea, it's a great idea. Thinner displays, you get a better um, sweet spot of view. It works fine. You can put your battery pack in the back now. Cool. It's a much more balanced headset. Don't you think the people with the Quest 2 would have liked that? Don't you think the people who want an upgrade for their Quest 2 would rather go and get another Quest 2 priced product? something maybe th maybe $50 more, maybe $100 more, but for a better product. Because now the people that have the Quest 2 are gonna have to go and make this step up to the Quest Pro, which is five-ish times as much as the Quest 2 cost. For medial upgrades, there are some quality of life upgrades and medial upgrades that all together kind of make it a nicer product, as well as the face and eye tracking and the controllers. That's it of the visual effects, the um, LE LCD technology, we're still not using OLED. This is a 1500, mind you that this is a $1,500 headset and we're still using LCDs. Two 1080p LCD displays. I'm just saying for $1,500, when I saw the label Pro on this headset, I thought, damn, I should check this out. Maybe they're making something I might want. But what I'm seeing is a product that is introducing new technology, AKA hand and eye tracking and inside out controller tracking. The controllers track themselves great for $1,500. You have a product that was supposed to bring VR to the masses. You took that and you made a pro version a year later, two years later, at an incredibly inaccessible price. This isn't. A, this is not a headset for the masses. Facebook, I feel like, will be the one to make the metaverse. I wouldn't doubt it for a second. I think that they will be the one to do that. When it comes to the hardware, try again. I really should have written down the things I thought of while watching this video because I think that's a really good idea is to have this reflection after I do the editing and tell you guys the things that I also wanted to add because some of the things I say come off as crazy or whatever. And I don't express my opinion like this often and I want you to tell me if I should. I know I'm not including every bit of information and every bit of tech that was added into this headset or every bit that it can do. There are some like less interesting things to me. And that's what this is about, is me sharing my opinion about this. But I feel like I juked them out. Like I'm not giving it enough credit for what it is for $1,500. But all that is, is going back to the price tag for the trial tech. Like, we're getting to pay $1,500 to try and see what this, this, cool, put yourself in a VR room of your room is gonna be like cool to see the two games or three games that support face and eye tracking. That is really cool, but it's trial technology. And that's what I meant earlier in the video by that. Facebook's a big company. I'm sorry, Meta. Meta's a big company, just like Apple, just like Samsung, just like all of these other people that release products every year they all managed to launch more than one. Why aren't we launching a pro version and the Quest 3? I can understand that we're building a whole piece of hardware and we're kind of on um, the level of like three to four years. Like we're kind of with consoles, right? Consoles don't release every year. iPhones release every year. I think we need to get to a point where these release every year. You can't have three to four year periods between releases and have such incremental change. At least put out a model for the users that want those quality of life things so they don't have to buy third party accessories to make their headset comfortable. At least put out that other headset, that $500 
Quest 3, and then the $1,500, the $600 Quest 3, whatever the fuck, and then also the $1,500 Quest Pro. Just expressing more opinion and trying to ease my um, grit a little bit. Thank you guys for watching this video. I didn't outro it because I liked the drama of my exit, but this is an outro. Thank you guys for watching.